All right, so here is an event handler. And an event handler will uh, wait until the event happens. So this is the example that I used. Uh, we're using the event handler killed and has some parameters. Uh, the unit, the killer, the instigator, and use effects. So the unit is the or will return what the event handler is assigned to so whatever goes here uh, this will return whatever it's assigned to the killer will return uh, whoever killed uh, the per their whatever this is handler is assigned to the instigator will bring back or will return the person who pulled the trigger and use effects is a true or false um, I, I don't even know why that's really a uh, parameter in this but anyway uh, after you set your parameters or get your parameters whatever um, you don't even need to use these you can just run a script so I made a script with an event handler. So what I'm going to do is create a group. I'm going to make the group civilian. Uh, I'm going to spawn a unit and in that group I'm going to create a unit of this person on these coordinates and I'm going to set a variable name of this. I'm going to disable their move. This was for testing purposes, their direction and their position. So the event handler is going to be this guy, just like we assigned the variable. Uh, we're going to add the event handler killed. We are going to get the uh, killer parameter. So in this index, unit would be 0, killer would be 1, instigator would be 2, use effects would be 3. So we are going to select 1, and we are going to link that parameter in this script. So when this person is killed, it's going to run this script. So here I have my parameters. Uh, I'm going to select zero because it's the first one in there. I'm going to create a vehicle, which is not really a vehicle per se. But anyway, uh, this is going to be a grenade and it's going to uh, spawn on the position of this right here, which back here we selected one, which means the killer. So it's going to spawn a grenade on the position of the killer. And after checking the fuse time of this grenade, it's about six seconds, so I wanted to wait a couple more seconds before this check is done. So if the killer is still alive, uh, we're going to exit with uh, creating an IED or an explosive. Uh, in this case, it's a satchel charge. And again, we're going to put it on the position of the killer. We're going to set a variable name because we have to set the damage to 1, which means 100%. And it'll explode. Um, and I didn't want to explode immediately, so I put a three-second sleeper on there. So anyway, this is what it looks like in-game. Um, so I have a trigger right here, and when any player is present, it's going to execute the uh, the spawn script. So it's going to create the civilian, do all this stuff, and it's going to wait for this event to happen. So I'm going to hit OK. Um, this trigger right here is for me to uh, not only test if the if the script works with players, but also with AI. So what I did was uh, on this activation, I just call in a radio, whatever, and I changed the group to East, which is an enemy of this player who was West. And I have them join that group. 
So let's uh, let's see what happens. So here we are. We've got our uh, blue blue four player or AI, and I'm going to just walk forward, and it's going to create the civilian. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the trigger and switch its side, which will cause that person to start shooting. So they died, and it should spawn a grenade. It did. It exploded. And now it's going to check if they're still alive. Yep. And I'm pretty sure they are dead. So... run up to this person uh, yeah they're 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 pretty much dead anyway um, so let's let's do that again except uh, I'll kill him So let me just get rid of this guy. So there they are. And there's the grenade. It's gonna explode. I'm still alive. And now there's gonna be a satchel charge placed here somewhere. And I'm dead. 